Good morning, it's good to have you with us. Eight babies have been born here in the UK thanks to a groundbreaking IVF technique which uses genetic material from three people. The process has been developed by a team in Newcastle and is designed to prevent children from being born with devastating mitochondrial diseases which are passed down via their mothers. Our science and technology editor Tom Clark has more. Some saw an IVF technique using three people to make a baby as unconscionable. Scientists saw a cure for families devastated by inherited disease. Their argument carried, the law was changed and now they report on the result. Eight healthy babies apparently free of mitochondrial disease who began their lives in this Newcastle lab. It's a great success for these families. You know, this is a devastating disease with no cure and without the, this technique, they would not be feel that their families were free of mitochondrial disease. Families like Chloe Russell's, who only learned they were carriers of mitochondrial disease when her brother died suddenly four years ago. To be able to have that as a potential option in the future for me allows me to kind of understand that what happened to my brother will not happen again. Though both sexes can suffer life-limiting, often fatal disease, only women like Chloe are carriers, as we inherit all our mitochondria from our mothers. Pro-nuclear transfer was designed to fix it. It starts with a fertilised egg from the affected mother, perfectly normal apart from the faulty mitochondria throughout the cell. Then a very thin needle removes the egg's pro-nuclei, containing the genes from mum and dad that make us who we are. Next comes a fertilised egg from a healthy donor, that's the three-parent bit, but not really because those parents' genetic information is removed and replaced with that of the patients. That leaves a new embryo from the affected parents, but with healthy mitochondria, curing it of disease. Despite the prenatal prodding and poking, the babies, four boys and four girls, two of them identical twins, were born healthy. In three of them, some diseased mitochondria were carried over during this process, at levels too low to cause disease, but follow-up to monitor their progress will be essential. And so we have designed a study specifically for that purpose. And I think that's quite right that, that we want to do that, that families want to do that, and the regulator of the HFEA want to do that. And that's what is unique, really, about us offering this in, in Newcastle, because there isn't anywhere else in the world that's doing this in a regulated way. And that's important. Medicine has entered new territory a life-saving change to embryos, but for girls, one that will be passed on to their descendants in perpetuity. Disturbing to some, but for seven new families and more to come, a lifelong burden lifted. Tom Clark, Sky News.